Axe. Will you shut up? Hey, you alright guys? I hope you're all having a good day today. I'm having quite a decent day actually, and I couldn't wait to start playing this game again. And we're just free now, brother. We did this last time, but this is my checkpoint. I say, I just couldn't wait to get back into this game today. The gunfighting mechanics with the slow motion, just brilliant. Tons of fun. <laughs> Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. Awkward. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. And yeah, I've bound all my time abilities to my mouse now. I think I did it last episode, but... I've got so many mechanics now, I'm just hoping that I remember what buttons are which. So I've got, like, my time stop, my time... I forgot. I've got time stop, time leap, time shield... And time vision. Let's move, before more of them show up. Jack! We gotta go. Hold on. I'm sorry, Jack. No! Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years? It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. You're not going. Oh man, they killed my hobbit. Oh, I don't think we're gonna know how to stop this time thing, are we? What do we do now? Our character isn't the brightest. <laughs> uh, it's a space skip. I don't want to skip something important, but it just seems to be wobbling letters. <laughs> so I'm not sure where to go with this. Should I risk it? I could have just... Could have just... Okay. Junction 1. Hardline slash PR. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. 
I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, huh. remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. All clear, sir. Alternatively, Thank we'll mount a broad PR <laughs> strategy, get the city on our side. Mr. Serene? But that leaves us with the... London Guards? Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Hello, goats. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Okay, I wonder what a goat reminds him of. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Yeah, I'm just going to see what all these things are first so we can get a bit more in-depth in the story. A few people who want to read this stuff can always just pause it. I know, I'm just we had Jack in custody, doing some research. But I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. Okay, what's up, dude? Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Oh, it's that petitioner. I thought she died. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The junction power reveals two potential futures. Your decision. Your decision. I can't say decision. <laughs> your decision. <laughs> anyway, skip that. At each junction point, we'll steer your stories of both the game and the live action show. Okay. A hey, show hardline. Let's have a look. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. 
Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Okay, let's check hold to show PR. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think the first one would be more of a challenge for Jack. But on the other hand, it'll be more of a challenge for Paul as well, because we'll have a massive uprising against us. So I think we'll go with the PR, because then... We also save the girl as well, who's been through a lot. So I think she deserves this a little bit. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Junction 1, PR. You chose to have Serene take the PR approach. Community. 75% of the community agreed with your choice. Awesome. Right, so I picked the right one. Good. Episode 1, Monarch Solutions. Two hours after fracture in time. Time's up. Oh, we're going to a movie? The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I think it's hardly up to her, is it? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. So there's some quite good acting though in this. 
Is this like from an actual movie? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, probably phobia about people touching their eyes. Freaks me out. Blech. Liam. Walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Monarch HQ. There's Dan. Whoa, is that Good a long last one? friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? <laughs> Touch it. I, <laughs> I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. This guy's a bit of an ass, isn't it? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. And I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello, man. I'll well, let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. <laughs> Is that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Just... Yeah, he wants to come across as a big man, doesn't he? But he's a bit of a bitch. Uh, like I said, it seems to be a really long cutscene. I feel like I can knit to a shop and come back and I'll still be doing my video. <laughs> Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. 
Jesus. I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. Well, our wife's been on drugs while we've been out. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? <Stop. laughs> what? I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. I have a feeling we'll be using this guy in a minute. Oh, twenty minutes. In order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic. I think he's gonna turn into one of the good guys. Stop all time now. He said in one of the cutscenes that he needs medication as well. So I wonder if we're eventually going to need that. Is Jack. research and design and with monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in riverport it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us oh there's been a development jack you've already seen it tonight on the island he'll be there and he'll want revenge i need him stopped now i think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. 
This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Sounds oh, like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone saw the equation. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's what that's what I brother William did once at the start of episode two. It's good all the side quests kind of like made an appearance in the storyline. I like that. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. I won't have a go at her about using the coaster. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> Uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice. I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk. So. See you tonight. Yeah. That was all good. <laughs> I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. Oh my god. Do you remember when this used to be a game? They were fun times, right? This isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. 
Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to a I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think I'm sure about they that can hear you. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? I never knew there was a spelling fault. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. There's the gold that we wanted in the office for the side quest. Nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch, he um he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks oh. Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. He knows what I it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because Oh, uh, sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me. Cause I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. I'm about 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. I gave him one thing, he's got a good bluff. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder, on our Get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking idiots! Stop! He's not invincible! He's not a fucking 
superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. See, it would have just been so fun Second to floor. actually play okay, this. I feel like these could have all been small cutscenes like within the game. So we could like we could experience the car chase or be a part of it. He's setting out the entrance. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Is that it? <laughs> End of episode one. Wow. I think that's been going for literally about 25 minutes. Maybe even longer. Act two, perfect place to hide something. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the Another ground cinematic. zero operation at the shipyard. Still oh, sorry, what? Alright guys, well I think I'm going to have to actually stop the episode here because that cutscene has been going on for literally about 30 minutes and it's taken up all my time. <laughs> it's craziness, crazy. But uh, if you've liked this gameplay video, <laughs> question mark, then please give me a thumbs up on that like button to let me know. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll have another episode up for you tomorrow, hopefully with a bit more gameplay in it. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you then guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.